All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monday. Welcome to Manful Yoga. So um, I wanted to get on and just do a couple things, cover um, some stuff that is going on this week and go into some topics that I've been getting some questions about lately. Um, so first off, we're going to talk about the difference between flexibility and mobility. Um, so this is a, a pretty important distinction. Um, most yoga um, works on flexibility, but it doesn't really work on mobility as a whole. And we'll talk about why that's problematic. Um, and we'll talk about the difference between the two. Um, second, um, we're also talking uh, about how to improve balance. Uh, I get questions on this all the time. People who, um, you know, maybe they can, maybe they have good fitness otherwise, or maybe they're not fit, but um, they start to do balancing exercises and they can't hold it for more than a few seconds and it gets discouraging. So um, we'll talk about that as well. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to be talking about a new, um, a new weekly video, kind of a new piece of content that we're going to be putting out regularly um, called member questions. So we're going to be taking questions from our members and um, anyways, we'll be getting the questions from the members, but we'll be making the answers public. And these will be shorter five to 10 minute videos. Um, so, you know, it's not going to be like a giant 30 minute video, but hopefully something that's short enough that you can watch it, but still get a lot of benefit from. Um, and we'll just wait to see what kind of questions come in uh, to talk about those. Um, but those answers will probably be a combination of some knowledge, maybe some, you know, maybe some demonstrations, and then also recommending, hey, this is the program that you should probably, or these are the workouts, the programs you should be using um, to work on addressing this particular issue. So um, first off, let's talk about uh, flexibility versus mobility. And I have a whole blog on this, which goes into a bit more detail. Um, but uh, flexibility is basically your ability to stretch. Um, it's the ability of your muscle tissues to lengthen. Um, so that's, uh, it's the ability of your body to get into, into a position, but it can be completely passive. Um, so for example, I could, let's just really quick example, I can grab my foot and I can extend it out like this, right? But I'm using my hand to get it there. This is flexibility. Okay, this is not, that's not mobility. Mobility, on the other hand, combines flexibility with strength. It's flexibility with control. So while this could be considered, you know, flexibility, this is considered mobility because I'm doing it without the assistance of my hand. Um, so that's a really easy example. Um, but the importance there is passive flexibility doesn't really translate much into long lasting flexibility or into functional strength. Um, you can do passive stretching to relieve tension, but it's not going to, it's not going to significantly increase your flexibility or your mobility. In order to significantly increase flexibility, you have to combine strength with flexibility. And so that's where, that's where mobility um, comes in. It's really important. It's going to help you become more flexible, but also be able to um, to notice those improvements in your overall fitness, whether that's doing yoga um, or whether that's, um, whether that's doing yoga or doing weightlifting or anything else. Um, so that's why mobility is important and not just flexibility. Um, we just put out a brand new workout this week called All Levels. Uh, I think it's called Flexible and Strong or Strong and Flexible Hips. It's the most recent workout in the workout library of the members area. If you're already a member, good chance that you are if you're watching this. Um, just log in to the members area. It'll be on the home page. It's a 25 minute workout. It's all levels. Um, so it doesn't matter what your fitness level is. You should be able to at least follow along and do most of it. So check that out. Um, and that's going to be a really good way to understand the difference between flexibility and mobility. Um, so hope you enjoy that. Um, next thing. Oh, that's not where I want to put the camera. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So next topic, um, balancing. And I just had this question this morning um, from someone who was following along to a workout, and they said, "Hey, like, um, I'm able to do these a lot of these standing postures, but I, for whatever reason, I can't do the balancing postures. I just fall over right away." And so I actually have a blog on this as well. By the way, if there's a question that's been asked, I've probably created a video or a blog on it. So 
check out my YouTube channel, check out the Manful Yoga blog um, if you're looking for answers to your questions. So balance is part skill and part strength. It takes uh, the ability to balance, right? So we have to have that skill of balancing. So you have to practice it. But then the other part of it is having the right strength. So we have to have strong hips. We have to have a strong core. Um, we have to have strong ankles. So um, you could just stand on your leg all day if you wanted to, and that might help your balance. But the other part of that is we have to develop the necessary strength for it. And so that's where it, it's helpful to start doing um, more isolation exercises. So things to isolate those specific muscle groups that you need, like your hips, um, your core, your ankles. Um, so I've got uh, a video for that on my blog. Check it out. Just uh, I think if you search how to improve balancing man flow yoga, it'll pop up on Google. So check that out. It's a 16 minute video. Um, but that's really helpful um, for improving balance. And again, you want to improve your balance. It's part skill, part strength. You've got to do, you've got to practice it, but then you also have to develop the strength for it. So, and then um, the last thing that I wanted to go through here is um, a new weekly uh, series that I'll be doing. Um, and it's called Member Questions. And the goal here is to address a question that, um, that, that, is, that is repeatedly coming up or one that I think would be um, a good question to answer. And to give you a five or 10 minute video um, addressing whatever that question is. So, you know, this isn't gonna be like a big 40 minute long video. The point of this is to give you something that you can easily watch, that you can learn, um, maybe understand a new topic better, maybe understand how to get started on something. Um, and from there, um, to, uh, you know, get whatever you need to get whatever info you need to, to work on that particular topic. So we're going to be drawing these questions from members, uh, particularly, um, but we will be publishing the answers publicly. So we'll be putting them out on all of our social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, um, let's see here. I just lost connection with my phone. So Hopefully this is still working. Um, yeah, is my sound still on? Is my sound on? Someone comment and say, yes, your sound is on. If you could do that for me. Sound, is my sound on? Maybe, all right, I'm just gonna assume that's a yes. Um, so, what else? Um, yeah, so we'll be doing that and that'll start next week. So members, if you've got uh, questions, I'm gonna put this comment, I'm gonna put a, put a video and put a comment on in the members, in, the, in our members only group. Uh, and you can ask questions there. Um, keep in mind, this is just going to be how we collect answers. I'm not gonna answer the questions right then and there, because I do want these to be you know, high quality responses. I don't wanna just type off something really quickly and, and hit go. Um, but I wanna actually come up with a video and, and make something um, a little more in depth. So, um, Let's see here. Oh, someone asked, how do I get started? Um, Manful Yoga is really simple. I only have one product. It's the members area. It's uh, where you get access to all my workouts and programs. Um, and then from there, we have programs, beginner-friendly programs that you just, you start, you do the workouts, you follow the schedule, and that's it. Um, so it's really simple to get started. Um, it's just whether or not you're ready to actually do it. Uh, most people kind of like to wait around in the water and watch some videos or, um, I don't know, you know, look at some posts or something. Um, but, uh, if you're actually ready to get started, sign up for the members area. It's a dollar to get started. Uh, that's a seven day trial. Um, follow along to the workouts, follow along to the set schedule, um, of workouts and a program. Uh, and that's usually it. And most people experience results. They're going to notice results. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel the results of the workouts within a few weeks. So usually within three weeks, um, you're going to notice that you're feeling more flexible. You're feeling stronger. You're more aware of your body, better posture. Um, and again, that's what we hear from our members all the time. So, uh, if you're ready to get started, you're wondering how to get started. Members area, manpoolyoga.com, start a seven day trial, choose a beginner program and get to work. 
Um, you really don't need much equipment to get started. Uh, if you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel. If you don't have a block, you can use a piece of furniture, which brings the ground up, or a stack of books. If you don't have a strap, you can use a dog leash, a shirt, a towel, anything like that. Um, that's a good question. How many uh, days per week, uh, Jamie or Jaime? Um, you want to do at least, I, in my opinion, you should be doing at least three uh, manful yoga workouts per week. Um, that's typically what we hear um, as the, the best way to get noticeable results. If you're only doing it once per week, you know, not really. You might notice it that day and the day afterwards, but you're not going to notice a consistent improvement that quickly. So if you can do it every other day, three days per week, um, and about 100 minutes per week, that's going to be the best way to do it. So 100 minutes per week, that comes out to about 30 minutes, three times per, three times per week. It could come out to 15 minutes uh, every day, however you want to break that up. But if you can do 100 minutes per week, um, that's what you want to be doing. And um, I actually have a blog on that called How Often Should You Do Yoga? So if you type How Often Should You Do Yoga into Google, um, that blog will come up. It's a super helpful blog. Check that out. Um, all right. If you really love me, you'd already be part of our community. Um, let's see here. Richard, uh, hopefully you're here and you got that question answered. He asked how to get started. Um, I saw somebody else asked how often should I do yoga. Someone asked, uh, do you do yoga daily? Is yoga practice daily? That's, um, you can practice yoga daily if you want to. Absolutely, uh, you don't have to. Um, so, yeah. All right, cool. So um, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long because uh, then I start to ramble and then it's just nothing helpful. Um, and then yeah, if you actually and, and if the members area is too much for you right now, if you don't want to get started, um, if you're not ready to to buy something yet, I do have a free seven day intro. Um, and I also have a free page of workouts that we made specifically for COVID just because, you know, it's an uncertain time. So check out manflowyoga.com slash free. And I actually have five programs on there uh, that are beginner friendly. Uh, I think it's 20 workouts total. Check that out. Um, and if you want to start my free seven day intro, no credit card required, uh, 15 minute lessons slash workouts, that's at manflowyoga.com slash intro. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, Manful Yoga is really straightforward. The best way to get started is to choose a program, follow the set schedule of workouts, and do it uh, at least three times per week. Um, and again, if you can do that, you should notice results in your first few weeks, and that's what we hear from our members over and over and over and over and over again. Um, we currently have about 450 um, reviews on Trustpilot. We're the number one uh, yoga website on Trustpilot, which is pretty cool. Do I have any YouTube videos? Yes. YouTube is pretty much how people know about us. Uh, YouTube.com slash Manful Yoga. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, by the way, if you're not on, um, if you are not uh, subscribed to me on YouTube, you're going to want to subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, Facebook is basically how we talk about the videos that we put out, uh, but we don't put out all of our video content here. YouTube's the best place to get our free content, and if you're looking for a more structured approach, more structured programs, schedule of workouts, then the members area is the place to go. Uh, or if you just want to support what I do, um, then members area. Um, all right, cool. So I'm gonna get off now. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. Um, next week, we'll be putting out those questions. Um, so if you remember, uh, you can either email the questions to help at manfulyoga.com. Uh, you can post it somewhere in the Manful Yoga community group. Um, and yeah, um, all the people who are asking how often should you do yoga, how do you integrate it into your other workout program, check out how often should I do yoga. Check out that blog. Search for it on the internet. Search for it on Google. It'll pop up. Click on it. Read it. Um, all right. Have a good week. See you guys soon. Make sure you do your workouts.